Yo guys, welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to be sitting down with Will. He's the person I met six months ago who led me to my diesel long tail river boat. And let me tell you, this thing absolutely rips. Over the past 10 days, we've acquired some 15 plus million views across Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and I've even had reports of it making the local news. But today I'm going to be sitting down with Will. Will is the person I met six months ago through Instagram, putting out a post looking for anybody in Thailand that speaks English. He happened to be one of those guys and runs a marina. So I knew he was gonna be a great help and that's where he led me to Bird. So Bird is the whole designer. He built this boat by hand with no molds and it's just pure craftsmanship. I believe that he learned the skill from his father. We then acquired an engine two drive shafts and got to ripping and that we did. So I hope you enjoy this episode. It's a little bit different than the other ones, but let's Okay guys, it. we are here with Will. This is my main point of contact. If you saw in the last video about when I put out an ad looking for somebody in Thailand that spoke English and Will owns and operates a marina in Thailand. You want to talk about that a little bit, what you guys do here? Yeah, sure thing. Um, we just, we, we consider ourselves as a premium storage facility and services. So services can range from anything as you know, like you, you know, <laughs> get, get stuff, whatever you need, we'll, yeah. we'll figure it out. But yeah. yeah, mainly just fully enclosed storage units. So when you're away, your boats are it's covered. Re it's really cool. I didn't know what to expect when we first met. We never even had a phone call or a video call. It was just messaging over Instagram. And then I get here and he's just like each one of you out there and me. He's handy, he knows how to work on stuff, he loves modifying engines, he loves boating, he loves everything to do that pretty much has an engine, right? Yep, anything fast and loud and awesome. Yeah, yeah, right? Okay, so he's, you know, bought boats and fixed them up, and so he's really building his passion here, right? So you guys have villas to rent and everything when you're here, I mean. Yep, yeah, we got those rooms to stay, this and that, and if they're full, Plenty of nearby resorts to yeah. pick from too. Yeah, there is, there is. It's, it's, there's a lot going on here. There's lots to eat, there's lots to do. If you love boating and you want to travel somewhere more affordable, but have an ex amazing experience, this is like the perfect place, man. Yeah, right. for sure. I mean, I'm, uh, you barely got to see I know. most of the lake, but I'm sure what you saw this morning. I did, in, barely saw right. anything. We went down to the dam and there's all kinds of resorts and those, but I mean, I would rather be here than somewhere else like that, you know? So that's a little bit about what you do, but we have a huge problem with this boat, okay? And we knew this was gonna be a problem from the get-go, and that's pretty much getting it home, you know? Yeah. So uh, actually, I think the hull, getting the hull there is not as difficult. It's right. actually, the heart of it's the engine. Right. The engine is gonna be tricky, but. It's gonna be tricky, and you know, we've talked to brokers that help you know, make this process easier. You know, I came to them with questions like, hey, the boat doesn't have a whole identification number. And so what they said is, as long as it's a finished product, you know, as long as all the wood's been sanded and finished, then we're gonna be okay to get it back. And then I can get a whole identification number in the States, get it registered, put lights on it, you know, and make it completely legal. And that's the plan. Yeah. Fire extinguishers, bilge pumps. Bilge pumps, fire kill extinguishers. Switches. Yeah, yeah. And the kill switch is another one. And then uh, life preservers for everybody. So, you know, there's all kinds of rules and regulations which we're going to get dialed in on the boat once it gets back. Okay, so there's been a big language barrier with the builders about what we're going to do with the engine. And so you've talked to the builders, you know, the engine builder and the whole builder on what we're going to do. Well, I mean, what do you think the best plan is? To get All right, I'm going to jump in right here and say that the engine is not coming to the States. And that is because it is an Isuzu Ford JJ1 that is out of a D-Max truck. These engines are not certified by the EPA or the Environmental Protection Agency that governs pollution and things like that inside of the United States. And therefore, I have to source one of these engines stateside that has already been stamped with an EPA certificate. So there are some that are available and I plan on acquiring them. But for now, the engine is going to stay in Thailand. You drove it, what was your reaction like? Um, I, I knew it was gonna be gnarly, but it's, it's a full on respect. Like, and, and you it picked is. up on it quick, making it, me think it was easy. Boy, it was I was I was sweating. Like <laughs> you felt the vibration, everything through your phone. You're trying to shift and hold yourself. 
Nice. Like I need more hands to drive the boat. You do, you do. It's one of those things that's like, uh, you know, driving a, your, a different dirt bike or four-wheeler or boat or race car for the first time. I was the first day, I was so built up with jitters. I was telling everyone, I'm like, I'm super nervous to drive this thing. And I was, man, it's a handful. Yeah. But it's very rewarding. It is. When, when, once you get it chopping in the water and and running, it's, it cruises nicely. It does, yeah. it does. It, especially just cruising. I mean, how much fuel did we burn? And we rode for, what, 30 minutes? Yeah. I, we didn't even use 30 liters. I, I don't know what that is. I'll it, put the equivalent of of 30 liters right here and that was that was a lot of ripping and high speed yeah uh, rides laying you know? into the throttle quite a bit yeah we it's actually very fuel efficient i'd say dude the what you talked about with the respect of these guys who rip these things through canals like we had a huge open lake these guys are going through canals of concrete on either side yep. laying into the throttle for 10 or more seconds like, yeah. I mean, I laid into it to, for two or three seconds. On an open lake. On an open lake. It was sketched out. So one thing I did learn, which was really neat, is, you know, like, there's so much power and torque. How much power are we putting down? Yeah, 500 is what they're claiming and 1,000 foot-pounds of torque. 500 horsepower, 1,000 foot-pounds of torque. And, you know, laying in the throttle real smoothly and coming off of it real smoothly was easy. You know, it was a lot more smooth. but. If I like laid into it real heavy and then let the throttle yeah, snap the back, just, yeah, yeah, torque the, the whole boat. The, it torques the whole boat, and then the the steering handle will jolt like a, a foot this way. And I'll include a clip right here on what I'm talking about. But it's it's a machine to handle, man. Yeah, it's definitely cool. It is. It is. So Gator Tail's coming home. We're uh, you know right now it's Thanksgiving Day right? back in the states. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, it's Thanksgiving Day. So we're gonna see how long this process takes and do our best to get it home and have some fun with it. I got a lot of plans and hopefully, hey, one day you'll come and rip it with us in the States. Yeah, why not? I haven't been to Florida yet, so we'll see. <laughs> got to come out for a Cleus and Cars or something like that. Oh, that that'll be sick. Rip it plan it all in one, one oh, trip. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. On April 5th, 2024, the Freedom 500 and Cleus and Cars is gonna be going on at the Freedom Factory. It's gonna be an epic event and we are already expecting it to sell out. The Le Moulds event that went on this week was at about 95% capacity. It was a packed house. They had an absolute insane time with fireworks, burnouts, monster trucks. And I would imagine this Freedom 500 show is going to be even bigger. So make sure you guys get tickets now. I believe that they're cheaper if you buy them now than, you know, leading up to or at the actual event. So hopefully we'll have the boat there by then. If we do, it's obviously going to be on display because as I said earlier in this video, I want to be able to share this thing with everybody, you know, like I want content creators to reach out to me and come out, rip it. I'll teach you how to drive it so that we can all have fun and bring more awareness and, you know, to what the tiling's got going on because they what, modify everything, right? Yeah, everything. Even like my maid, she's got an exhaust on her scooter. <laughs> she's got an exhaust on her scooter. I mean, I've seen, I think I see wheels and tires on every single car here. Pretty much. They don't like leaving anything stuck here. Yeah. Well, hey, man, Thailand's been absolutely epic. If you're everything about traveling or coming out boating or, you know, even considering getting a boat here, obviously reach out to Will. I'll include his Instagram handle and his marina in the description below. Reach out to him. He's got a really special thing going on here. So bring yourself and your family and your friends out to Thousand Palms at which lake are we at? Um, it's Sunakrian Lake in Kanchanaburi province. All right. Thailand. There you go. All right, guys, make sure you subscribe, like, leave me a comment. We'll see you on the next episode. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've been wrenching on your car, need a 10 millimeter wrench, plowing a bag of flaming hot Cheetos and drinking a Dr. Pepper and realize, dang it, I really need to brush my teeth. Well, now's your chance. I'm talking Dr. Parker 10 millimeter tool brush, a toothbrush on one end, a 10 millimeter wrench on the other. This sucker, CNC billet aluminum, baby. Lifetime warranty. Get them now at CletusMcFarland.com.